Hi guys, hi New Earth community. This is Shito. Welcome if you're new, welcome if you are returning. Thank you so much for being here, everyone, guys. Please check out the description box below if you resonate with my reading and want to catch more of my readings. My channel is called Mystical Star Child. Check out the programs, the services, the counseling sessions, our Facebook group. So come and join us, guys. Thank you to Sophie for posting these videos. I do um, the collective readings on her channel every Wednesdays, once a week, guys. So let's jump straight in. Let's jump straight in. Let's see what your person is thinking and feeling at this time. <clears throat> what? Wow. Okay. Can I can't make this up, right? The tower card. Yeah, that's what I've been getting. That's what I was getting just about 15 minutes before 15 minutes before i actually started this reading is when i was really really getting that it's like a lot is happening with the masculines there's a lot of things that are crumbling his uh, the, the clarity he's receiving is causing a lot of tower moments in his life and i'm seeing him her just for the energies guys it's just easier that way right this is your twin flame one twin flame one yeah there's it's a there's a close there's a close there's a cycle that's closing out for your person nine of wands here and they're really needing the strength to get through these final moments of this cycle you know how when they say it's darkest before dawn that's exactly how your person is feeling at this time i feel with the tower card they they really they're really trying to yeah yeah they're really trying to stay on top of their game at the moment but it's been really really hard it's been very hard for the masculine to stick through the cycle the cycle of revelation there's a lot of anger pent up anger pent up um emotions angst resentment that has really been coming out i want to get more into the tower card because what i'm getting is the masculine is having a lot of disagreements with people with maybe one or maybe with a certain person but i'm getting with people generally in their 3d world this could be uh, a, a family friends this could be even at the workplace things are not really your person is not really happy i don't know what else to say all right, Spirit, tell us more. Let's get more, guys. Let's get more. But I do the readings when I do it for you guys. So this is new to me as well. <laughs> tell us more about the Tower of God, Spirit. What is happening with the... Sorry, guys, if you can hear. There's this construction happening there. So, you know, the noise keeps coming and going. I'll try and reduce the noise uh, of this video. All right. Tell us, Spirit, what is happening here? What's the tower card all about? Clarify the tower card, please, for us. What's this? Yeah. Okay. Extreme worry. Extreme worry over here is what I'm getting here. Because this is five of pentacles. It's like your person is really worried about losing. I feel the arguments and whatever these conflict arguments and the people that your person has been having to deal with in in this tower moment is causing your person to understand that you know some relationships you cannot mend it's like they're they're understanding that i have to let go of certain relationships i cannot take everything in the next cycle with me so i feel there's a lot of loss there's a extreme feeling of loss and i feel it's like your person it's like your person may have lost out on certain relationships that they have cherished over the years certain relationships that they've been in for decades this could be really close friends this could be family this also could be like a spouse or an ex-partner kind of thing with whom they were dealing with because they had children it's it's that so there's a massive break massive changes sudden changes in your person and the relationship they share 
with their third party people. It doesn't have to be only a spouse or ex-partner, baby's mom, baby's dad, but this could be family, everything. So there's something that's broken down and it cannot be mended, it cannot be fixed because when the tower falls, guys, it falls down to ground zero. You need to clear off the rubble, clean it, and then start all over again. So I feel your person is processing a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety over having lost, which were once closed relationships. Uh, there's a loss, there's a feeling of extreme loss here. Wow, that's fucking heavy. All right, let's continue, guys. Yeah, change, yeah. Lot of lot of stuff is changing with the masculine world. Look at that. And we've got Jupiter, and I've been saying this guys for oh, ever since Jupiter went into retrograde that it's it's everything that's happening in the cos uh, cosmically uh, planetary wise is timed. It's timed because we have Jupiter in retrograde in Taurus. We have Venus that has shifted into Virgo. I may do a planetary update. I'm not really sure, guys, but we'll, I'll see how that goes on my channel. And we do have the Libra season. So this is about taking action towards what you love. Venus in Virgo is looking at the practical side of whether things need to change, right? Plus, Jupiter in retrograde is about understanding the bigger picture whether this is good for me so your person has been very confused the change this is two of pentacles a lot has been shifting every every time something shifts or something kind of changes your person thinks okay this is it but it keeps changing and if, if you guys have watched on my channel when mercury went into retrograde a couple of weeks ago this particular retrograde for mercury was really important because it was the temperance card. I don't know, don't ask me how the connection is. I have no idea, but this is what it is. It's the temperance card. It, is, it was helping us do the alchemy between the head and the heart. Now the first phase of that is over and that was Mercury's role. Now Jupiter has come in to take that which is, and Mercury is a planet that influences you on a personal level. So while the changes happen within you, now Jupiter is coming and Jupiter and Saturn are planets that influence how you interact with your environment. So taking that change that has happened within your person, now Jupiter is helping you understand how am I showing up in relationships? Am I being, um, am I being slighted? Am I showing up correctly? Which is why the masculine is also realizing that he's breadcrumbed his feminine all this while and now she doesn't want to have anything to do with him and now he's lost what is the most important connection to him because he went ahead and chose a third party. But grass wasn't greener on the other side, is it? This It's not about choosing. This is what uh, spirit is trying to help your person understand with Jupiter here in retrograde. It's not about choosing a side. It is not about that. It is not about options that you have. Seven of Cups, which was confusing. Which is the right option? This isn't about the right option. Spirit is trying to help the masculine understand. You choose what makes you happy. What makes you happy? It's like I'm pointing to the moon, but the masculine is looking at my finger instead of me pointing to the moon. That's Jupiter in retrograde making you think, making you understand what's the bigger picture, but you're still looking and saying, oh, I've got these options. No, these are not options. That's why your person was so confused, in and out, in and out, in and out. Spirit saying that's not the point, but all of the changes that the planet, that the tra uh, transits of the planet influence as they pass through each of the zodiac signs, guys, it is at every level. Mercury is at a personal level, right? starting to see things differently, starting to question things at my level. What am I really doing? That, that was Mercury retrograde. With Jupiter, now it's just opened, it's just heightened, taking that and saying, okay, my relationships, my environment, uh, my, uh, my, my, the, the social interactions that I have, my commitments to my family, to this, how is that showing up? And things are crumbling, things have been crumbling steadily, and, and very incrementally for the masculine. 
and he's been so confused thinking he has to choose from all of these various options no they your person put you in a third party situation because that's how they were looking at it that i have options it's like it's like the masculine is so scared you know i call it <laughs> i call it fomo I, i don't know if you guys know is the fear of missing out that's the fomo thing that the masculine was you know that's why we have the seven of cups here it's like oh my god if i choose this and i'll miss out on all the others if i choose this i'll miss out on all the others and spirit is saying why are you making yourself go fucking crazy change changing always in and out in and out in and out when they're with you they're afraid that their spouse or their ex partner is going to know and then they won't be able to see the kids then they say okay let me choose my third party right let me choose the ex partner because of the kids then they have family then they have work then they have this then they have uh, uh, all of these uh, uh, other romantic liaisons maybe sexual maybe romantic but they all of those liaisons with other people like dating multiple people at the same time involve nothing consistent and this is why your person was confused and spirit is saying hello you know like take a step back take a step back masculine because that is not the lesson 11 11 that is not the lesson the right thing is to ask yourself stop going around in circles because it's exhausting you four of wands coming onto the right path your feminine is on her right path and don't be kidding guys be honest with yourself if you're not on the right path not doing the work then get on it so that your person can also uh, come onto the right path there's no alignment here so stop running around in circles use that strength have the strength to end these cycles of toxic patterns and see see clearly that's what this is it's not about the options it's about which one makes you the most happiest which one of all of this brings you emotional fulfillment so the masculine is going through <clears throat> loss loss of relationships but spirit is only trying to help your person understand in order to gain something you got to make space so say your person was married you know with a spouse just be staying married because they have kids this is spirit telling them you got to let this go otherwise how can your feminine come in how can you have a connection with your feminine you got to let this go but because the masculine has been so used to that toxic pattern and the tower stands for created structures that we just adhere to it's breaking down saying this marriage say for example your person was married right let's go with that it's like this marriage was uh, may have started out good but there is no love there is only uh, you're not happy with your wife you're not happy with your husband you're just there because of the kids you're just carrying on life just because this is breaking down so if your person wasn't taking and i said this months before that if the masculine doesn't take the choice doesn't make the choice or doesn't take the option spirit is going to intervene this particular tower card i feel i said it yesterday in one of my collective readings on my channel there's a last tower for the masculine before everything crumbles to the ground this is that this is that and it's a libra season guys spirit is saying no you know what we need alignment here this is like the ace of wands this particular new moon is going to start a new cycle for for the collective both masculine and feminine so this is the last tower it's like the last nail in the coffin this is it so whatever has broken out in the masculine's world physical world is bringing out everything into the open whatever is hidden now because the tower is crumbling everything is out in the open and that's what i was getting so the masculine is trying to make sure i'll just stay in this marriage just because of the kid you know ignore certain things or brush certain things under the carpet spirit is like nothing doing nothing doing everything is going to be out in the open so that everything can be seen broken and disrupted because that situation isn't working not for your masculine and not for the third party or the karmic partner as well because we all have soul contracts there's no use cussing our karmic partners or ex partners 
because they have sole contracts it's up to you to make the choice and don't be fucking kidding guys if you're with a karmic partner staying in a marriage just because of the of the kids your person is doing the same thing this this is what it is but the masculine is really going through a very very trying time these are relationship that he cherished once upon a time tell us more about the moon card spirit The strength and the ten of pentacles. Having the strength, having the strength to deal with your, how do I put it? Having the strength to walk away from something that your person has considered to be stable. It ain't stable. It might have had stability at one point of time. And it's relative, guys. I mean, stability, your person was thinking stability in terms of money in terms of materialistic goal, right? Having the strength to then work on this. This is about your person thinking, thinking that my passion, my desire is to gain this wealth, to gain this financial stability, to gain stability in the materialistic world. But spirit is saying that's hidden because this is what, the moon card is really important here because if you look at the traditional right away deck, guys, there's a wolf and opposite the wolf sitting is a dog. So wolf represents the instinctual self, the original authentic self, right? But with the dog mirroring it, you've been trained, you've been conditioned, you've been programmed ever since you were a child because the moon represents cancer, which is upbringing, which is foundation, to then instinctively act in a certain way. When you're programmed and conditioned, you act in a certain way thinking it's who you are, but it isn't. So that's why your person now is understanding that yes, I'm going through some serious worries because old relationships are really dying out. But this transitionary period is something that your person is needing to tie, uh, you know, to tie it over on their own. That's what's happening. So your person is really being made to understand the bigger picture. They're in the process of understanding the bigger picture. They're coming into alignment with their inner world, which is why we have the moon card here and the sun here, right? Very important, guys. Nine, uh, nine of wands, very important card here. It's sad. I don't know why Sagittarius season is coming for a long time it's like my last couple of readings Sagittarius was so strong and Jupiter actually traditionally rules uh, the sign of Sagittarius so the masculine is gonna have a lot of stuff that's clearing out from his physical world starting in the Libra season as it is going to continue in the Sagittarius season so for the next two three months till the end of the year the masculine is just clearing everything that needs to go. Everything that he thought was a part of his passion and all of that, he is gaining a higher understanding thing. This is not me. I need to change. And this time I need to stick by it, right? Look at that. We've got the A on here, which is a judgment card. Waking up to the truth, finally the last straw spirit said and this is the last massive tower card before the masculine really changes and makes a choice not always all over the place but actually making a choice yeah seven of pentacles in the reverse this is something that the masculine has been, your need, you need to take it in your stride, guys. We think part of our upbringing is as children, we're never taught by our parents, by our caregivers, family members, whatever, that failure is, is important in order to succeed. It's always looked down upon. And that's why your person is going through such a trying time blaming himself uh, that your masculine blaming themselves that this is my fault. This is my fault. No spirit is helping you understand It's not your fault because that's how you were brought up. That's how you were taught That's what you were taught to think and do. It's not who you are Now they're beginning to see who they really are because the truth's coming out and they're all enlightened here They're all enlightened here Where is the aeon? that 
card went. So let's get, <clears throat> so a lot, let's, it's like, hang on, I wanna get one more card for your person. I wanna see what, what I, oh, okay. We got the chariot card here, guys. Fell out here, I didn't realize. So with the chariot card, everything is moving, everything is happening as it should. Everything is right on time. And this massive tower card is just a, is just one of the things that the masculine had to go through. Give us one card spirit. What is this person going to? What action, yeah. See, the lover's card. On my channel, guys, I did a chit chat video, the devil verse infinity, the lover's card. Go ahead and check that out because it helps you understand um, the masculine's role in the twin flame dynamic. Plus it also helps um, you understand what the devil card really means and what the lover's card really means. So you're, this is union, guys. The lover's card is union. The lover's card is making healthy choices. Your person is getting to a point helped by spirit to then make a choice that's healthy for him, which is leaving the third party because it's ended, it's ended and moving towards you. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, masculine has been in such a crazy energy, very crazy energy. See, you are the star that outshines all the others. Spirit, what else does this person want to tell my viewer? See? The magnetism between us drives me insane. Yeah, we've seen the last card here. Wow. Yeah, I fear you will reject me. Yeah, and I'm also getting the reason that the masculine is going through that five of pentacles in reverse worry is because he's actually learning how to speak the truth. I feel some of them have already told the third party situation, whoever and whoever is involved, that they wanna be with you. So it's breaking down, it's just adding to that tower card and they are not being supported by people who they expected would support them. This is why the five of pentacles is in reverse and, and seven of pentacles is in reverse. They, they feel, that this has been an absolute failure. And I feel a lot of people's true colors who are very, very close to your person are coming to the forefront the minute your person has mentioned this connection you and that and how they actually feel about you. And this is not something that your person was expecting. So that's why the tower is crumbling. They're now seeing through a lot of truths. So they're now worried. I've mentioned this, what if my feminine doesn't take me back, right? Please give me time to heal my past pain. Yeah, that's what the masculine has been doing. All right, spirit, what advice do you have for the collective, please? Yeah, forgiveness and understanding. This is what your your person is really learning. And it's for you also, for you. That's why I said, go walk, head over to my channel and watch that chit chat video, guys. Because that was a download that I got because I asked them a lot, what, what's happening, you know? So I got that. This is about forgiving and understanding. You need to understand the shit that your person is in. And it's, it's not because the devil represents all of the shadow self that has manifested into this physical world. And your person is, as, as of you, is born into that. But the difference is you come away, as the feminine, you come away from that world and you go within, you're the high priestess. But your masculine stays in that shit and needs to do his work, needs to do his part of the mission whilst staying in that shit. He doesn't have the leverage or the opportunity to come away from that. That's why he struggles. It's really important to understand. So forgiveness and understanding. Because everything that you're experiencing, you may not like it, you may cuss your person out, whatever it is, it is part of the process. If you don't experience these painful things, then we cannot heal it. Exactly, it's the sacred plan. So trust in the plan and trust in divine timing. So I hope this reading was good for you and thanks for watching.